Let's just take, take high blood pressure, for example. 85%, look this up, um, of all high blood pressure diagnosis, when you're diagnosed with high blood pressure, it's called idiopathic, which means it's of unknown origin. So 85% of the time when a, when a physician diagnoses you with high blood pressure, they don't know the source. So they call it idiopathic hypertension. But one of the ways that they make up for this 85% unknown is they say, well, you know, oh, your, your uncle on your mom's side has high blood pressure, right? Your mom's brother. Um, your grandfather had hypertension and your grandfather's brother had hypertension. Your great uncle had hypertension. Now you have it. So it's familial. It's genetically inherited. You know what I would say the next time a doctor says that to you? I would say, just out of curiosity, what gene did I inherit from my ancestor that gave me the hypertension. You know, if it's if it's genetically inherited, what gene did I inherit? Um, and watch their face go blank, right? Because that gene does not exist. Same for um, um, type two diabetes. Same for depression, anxiety. Same for um, uh, hypothyroid. All of these conditions that do run in families that are not genetically inherited disease. And I'm not saying there's no diseases where, that um, are linked to genes. The BRCA, the predisposition for. Uh, breast cancer is a very real predisposition. But the majority of disease and pathology that runs in families is not inherited disease. It is an inability, what you'd inherited was an inability to refine a raw material which causes a deficiency which leads to that disease. And that deficiency can be fixed.